Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Brothers and sisters, this is another request My reaction video for today is about Ahmed Sheikh, Ahmed Didat And it was requested by one of our sisters um, Her name is uh, Janice May And uh, she wants a video with um, Sheikh Ahmed Didat if it's possible So today we're going to make a reaction video uh, about Ahmed Didat and of course it is always the first time that I'm going to see this video so inshallah we will learn from this video and I would like to uh, say um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi to all of you brothers and sisters hope all of us are in good health and we're always safe under the protection of our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is um I don't want to offend anyone. This is all for Muslims, especially, and even to non-Muslims. And I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to uh, be insulting anyone as far as religion is uh, concerned. This is just my personal reaction video uh, with regards to one of my subscribers' uh, requests. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, we can learn from this video. Amin and amin. Here we go. The last two questions, the lady over here. Right. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because yeah, why should they have to the cover veil. themselves um, because the of the weakness of men? Mean, Shouldn't they be treated mean. with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Question. Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your oh. holy Bible says, yes. you know, it's Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, yes. that the woman who doesn't cover her shave off her head. Your Bible says that. The woman who could bathe her hair says, shave them off, shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says, she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street and wow. people just walk by looking the fun. Say, well, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. Oh. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Oh. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns. Yes, the nuns Catholic of the Church. Catholic Church. Nobody gives rape. a second look. Rails. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast that's just Carbaro and all that with bikinis and tangas and oh. G-strings, oh. look, shit. <laughs> it's attracting <laughs> look, yes, even an old man like me, I tell you that <laughs> was if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. Oh. I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. Yes, God so made us like that. The we thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Yes. Do you know that? I don't know you. The Quran says, the Quran says, Yes. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, women. Walbanin, then son. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how... how the, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons. Oh you know, my, God, my own football cool. team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Well, Benin. And number three. Well, Qanatir al Mukantarad min al Zahabi al Fidda. And hoarded heaps of gold and silver. And wealthy land. And horses branded for excellence. And all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. 
The Quran says, the thing that eludes man most on this earthly existence is woman. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban, I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. Second you know, lorries, trucks. Lorry, lorry, trucks. You call them trucks, you too? Trucks, trucks. trucks. We call yeah. them trucks. Yes. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. <gasps> oh, no! Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking if these Westerners, I say, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. Hello, you see, the woman is being diagnosed with yeah. the Edwards. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be yeah, a little better than the Mercedes car. Benz. I'm not in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle. I did 120,000 miles and I had to change for another beetle and another beetle and another beetle. Then they stopped making the beetle. You know the Volkswagen Beetle. They started the Golf. So I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW. But I am forced to read this advert. In my newspaper, I see a BMW motor car. Oh. And with a woman. In the scampy, skimpiest of bikini, what do you call the tanga? You know the G string. He knows what the tanga is. <laughs> She's standing in front of the motor car and it's, it's written at the bottom test drive her now. <laughs> I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car. The woman is buying the car. And the herd is underlined. Test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star. And she's being mangled on the screen, simulating rape. I like her. He really do they enjoy it? You, do you enjoy your wife being simulated? It's not real rape. But you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped. Your mother, your wife, your daughter. And you enjoy your wife is a star. Sick, sick. No, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God. We haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. That was really a very much clear explanation of Sheikh Ahmed Didat regarding women wearing veil and being covered. So in Islam, really women are very precious. It's not because we are oppressed, but we tend to be careful about our being, uh, you know, the modesty and being uh, respected as women as a being a woman so this kind of video is really inspiring thank you so much for this lady who have brought up the question and so Sheikh Ahmed did that gave her a really nice advice so she will be enlightened and she will be cleared of that it's not only in Islam but it's also in the Bible so brothers and sisters thank you so much for watching again for another video for another reaction video may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all jazakallah khair and um i want to greet all of you with the muslim greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may allah be with us always guide us and give us ease in our everyday lives thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe leora ninita hit that uh, bell button out there and give me a lovely comment over there with regards to what you have watched and may allah bless us all thank you so much that for that beautiful advice.